following footage was found after the disappearance of the below average motovlogger, Weston Super Motovlog. Right, my apologies. I know that was a cheap shot, really. Um, but I'm out, I'm doing the Halloween special. Just make sure this is all the way back out, yep. Yeah. Um, so we're actually out at a uh, churchyard in Somerset. I won't give you the exact location, but I'll have a quick walk around. I don't know what you can see, um, apart from the fact that it is a scary ass churchyard, but it has some significance to uh, what I need to do and tell you about this evening. So what I'm going to do, and there are a lot of noises going on right now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this camera up. I've got my GoPro on just there, um, which won't pick up anything with regards to visuals, but it might pick up some uh, sound. I'm going to use it for the sound quality. So I'm going to put that there. And what I'm also going to do Let's just pop this on and just leave that there just in case. And I don't know if you can see that, I apologise if you can't, just to see if we see any movement in the process. It's already moving because the grass is moving it. Um, but yeah, so I want to tell you a story. Uh, it goes back to my previous Halloween video where we talked about the Wilbury Widow um, and also called the Wilbury Witch. Now I didn't realise why she was called the Wilbury Witch but I'm going to try and explain it to you tonight. So if you haven't seen it, I recommend you go back and watch it. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, it was from last year and the year before uh, and I'll put a link below uh, and basically it talked about a young couple that um, were madly in love but the family didn't agree with their relationship so what they did was they uh, they went off by themselves they got married and then basically eloped um, on their way back home where they were going to tell everyone they'd done it they had a car crash um, when the girl sort of woke up from the car crash, realised that the person that she'd fallen in love with and got married to was, um, was killed in the accident, which obviously completely devastated her. Uh, just make sure that that is still recording. Yeah, I think so. Um, completely devastated her. So what she did then was she walked to the, the local quarry, the nearby quarry, because she couldn't face her family um, and jumped off and killed herself. Now the family was disgusted by this, obviously they'd already told her not to do this. Um, so they decided they weren't going to bury her at her, at the family um, churchyard, along with her relatives. They buried her somewhere else, and that happens to be, from my research, this graveyard here. Now, the problem I've got, and I've tried to look on some of these um, flagstones in the, in the daytime, and now the flagstones, headstones, sorry, um, they changed her name because they didn't want her to be associated with the family because of what she'd done. So they changed her name and all I've got are dates and I can't find anything that the dates match up, but everything that points towards what happened and the research that I've done has pointed towards this place as being the final resting place. Now, the reason I'm told that she's called the Wilbury Witch is because she haunts this graveyard, which is why I'm bit nervous myself. Um, I'm here with, with my daughter and she's nervous as well. She's not the most biggest fan of um, horror stories, uh, especially when they're so local to us. Uh, so I just wanted to, I don't, that's worrying that that's oh 
flashing now and I'm not touching it genuinely my hands are here um, but that's that light is flashing after I just spoke about the Wilbury witch and it was just a big bang which is a bit disturbing so I don't know what else I can tell you it's only going to be a short video it's going to follow on from last year um, but basically we are just here trying to follow up on a story and maybe by next Halloween we'll have a sighting but I'm going to leave you to it I'm going to leave you to think about it and I will catch up with you soon <laughs>